A common law system is a legal system where the general principles of the law are not set out in specific documents, but are found in legislation, past court decisions and custom. A court decision which establishes a point of general principle is treated as establishing a precedent. Let me give you an example. In English law, murder is defined as unlawful killing of a reasonable person and being under the Queen's peace with malice of forethought express or implied. This definition isn't found in a piece of legislation and it's not contained in the Homicide Act of 1957. Rather, it's found in a book, Institutes of the Laws of England, written by Edward Cook, a judge in the Elizabethan period. This explains why the definition uses slightly unusual language, like malice aforethought. What makes it the definition of murder in English law is just the fact that lawyers and judges have, over a period of many years, agreed to use this definition. Here's another example. Most legal systems have rules regarding negligence, or the failure to do certain things which causes other people harm. In code law systems, the civil law usually sets out the general principles of negligence. In English and Scots law, these general principles are found in past cases. For example, if you buy a can of coke from a coffee shop and drinking the can of coke makes you ill because of problems in its manufacture, you can sue the manufacturer of the can of coke for negligence. You can do this not thanks to any act of parliament or civil code, but thanks to a 1932 decision of the House of Lords known as Donoghue versus Stevenson. You might not know this case, but any lawyer you contact certainly would. Because the general principles of the law are not set out in any single place, judging in a common law system is a more creative act. Judges may have to establish which past decision or precedent applies in a particular case, and whether they need to distinguish between the principles applied in the past and the principles they apply in the here and now. If their decision is particularly convincing, it might be cited by other lawyers and judges in time, and thereby become precedent.